So we come this morning to the communion. We take communion together uh, separately in our homes. I hope you've had the uh, opportunity to go and, uh, and get some bread and wine. And of course, these are just emblems, tokens of the blood and body of Jesus. Um, but it'd be good. It may be, you, you might even be able to pause your video and, and sort, uh, sort something out just now while I just share for a few moments. But it's really important for us at this time particularly that we stand on the covenant. We serve a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. And his word is full of promise. We call it the old covenant and the new covenant. And Paul says uh, to the Ephesians that we were strangers to the covenants of promise. Um, before we come to know God, we were without God and without hope in this world, but no longer, no longer, we've been brought nigh, we've been brought near through the blood of Jesus. And so today, this morning, we're going to remember what it meant for Jesus, the Holy One, the, the spotless Lamb of God, who took away the sin of the world so that you and I can be free from sin and forgiven on our way to heaven hallelujah no matter what happens no matter where we find ourselves we have that assurance of knowing eternity is sorted absent from the body paul says present with the lord no in between we're either in our bodies or we're with the lord so I'm just going to read the scriptures from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Paul says, For I have received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. Therefore, whoever eats the bread, drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord, a man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the body of Christ, the body of the Lord, eats and drinks judgment on himself. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. In those few verses, we have three sites. Verse 24, a look back, hindsight, that we remember. We remember what it meant for Jesus to die and to rise again. He took the price, the penalty of our sin on himself. Then a forward look, foresight. We do this until he come. Oh my goodness, he's coming soon sooner than we thought sooner than we realize even today and of course finally we have an insight we have to take an inward look examine your heart just now remember that if we confess our sin john says he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness Take an insight look just now and examine your own heart as we come around the table. Thank you, Lord, this morning for the emblems that are before us. We would indeed look back and remember what it meant for you, the Holy One, the perfect spotless Lamb of God, to hang on the cross, to die a death, 
that you didn't deserve, the spotless, sinless Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And so we break the bread this morning, remembering the covenant that we have with God through you covenant making covenant keeping God who makes covenant with us today through your sacrifice your body broken we remember Lord, today we thank you for the shed blood, the blood that speaks a better word, a better word than the blood of Abel. It doesn't shout murder, it shouts sacrifice. A blood that speaks even today. And we remember what it meant for you to shed your blood, that we might be forgiven. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. But we are forgiven because of your sacrifice. And we take our stand today under your blood. As the blood of the Lamb in Egypt was painted on the doorposts of the houses of the Israelites, we can take our stand today under your blood the blood that was shed the covenant making covenant keeping God who's made covenant with us we stand on it today thank you Lord we rejoice in the promises in God's word that are to you and to me when we make Jesus the Lord of our lives. Amen.